What up, though, YouTube? It's your boy Takeover Chicken in again, baby. We back. Another video. Six weeks out. We on fire, man. We dropping back to back this week. Chest day, baby. Y'all know how I do it. Stick to the basics. None of the cute stuff. None of the soft body building training. You know, we finna get down. Today, I'm starting on this bench press. I'm using them iron plates today, man. I miss that iron. Dealer joints right here. They are height. But they don't weigh nothing like that steel. You know, that steel make you look good. Most of them boys run from that steel. I run to it. Let go. Hey, yo. I just want to say this real quick. Folks be like, man, how you on prep? And you getting stronger. If you actually feed yourself, see the thing about it is, if you actually eating the proper nutrition, you're going to get stronger because you're feeding the muscles. If you actually training to build muscle and to build strength, you're going to get stronger. You don't. You only don't get stronger when you take the soy boy route and get on that high rep, low weight. You know, just coming in the gym to lift 20 pounds for 100 rep sets and all that. I keep my training the same for a reason, so. I don't lose muscle fullness. I don't lose strength. I, I, I build dense muscle. You want to train, just like how they say you practice how you play. If I'm, why would I switch up how I live? Because I'm on prep. If this, if this, if the way of lifting that I do is what build my physique, why would I change because I'm in preparation? That don't make sense. We're gonna get this work. Man. Tell them you can take me at the dog house, but you can't take the dog out of them. <laughs> they gonna go over a lot of y'all heat. <laughs> Such and such said, boy, bell bench press ain't good, and such and such said this. Man, listen, y'all dudes be trying to do all this fancy lifts, all these fancy techniques for the ground, but be looking like shit. I'm gonna stick to the basic shit that I know that works. Fuck trying to recreate the wheel. I, I follow one of the greats, man. Arnold, Sergio, all the big dogs in the game who, who, who build dense muscle. I don't want that pretty boy muscle, I want that real shit, guy. I moved that six. It's all fool. Yeah.
can't get a pump from bench press. Shut your soft ass up. Don't tell me what I can do, pump. You just stay in your lane, I'm gonna stay in mine. It's a difference, it's a difference from big dogs and pups. Rock rollers and chihuahuas. See y'all chihuahuas. Chihuahuas be the bodybuilder dudes. They be walking around with the tank tops on every day, all day. Trying to look mad. Lats all flared out. Doing machines all day. Weak. See the rock rollers. Hoodied up, t-shirt up, feel me? We come in the gym, put in that work. We ain't gotta walk around looking all mad and tough and shit. You know, but most most of the guys who walk around who be looking mad and tough and shit, they be the guys who never was athletes in school, who was lame as fuck. Now they're bodybuilder, they think they're popular and they think they're the man. Man, calm down, boy. Everybody live away, little boy. Fake tough ass dude. So, and then, cats be like, listen, I ain't even gotta say much. We been here 16 minutes, while I hit about five sets, bro. I done burned 115 calories out of it. This is what burn the calories, dog. Training hard is what burn calories. That's why y'all dudes, most dudes, we have them do all that freaking cardio. And y'all get in the gym and train soft as hell. You gotta get in the gym, turn up, man, burn them calories, man. <laughs> Gotta love him, man. Really do this shit. Way before bodybuilding, I've been banging weight. Dudes, start lifting weights because y'all bodybuild. You want to try to show me how to get, the, get to the money. I've been doing this shit, boy. 20 years in the game, man. Gotta look. Y'all know the mojo, man. Incline, hammer strength. Get that top miss. This is my favorite incline move. And the seat move. Incline dumbbells, cool. But I get a better contraction on this. You know I mean? Like I say, you wanna find what works for you and to run with it. You ain't gotta keep switching up the sauce. Every different workout, you know, for the gram or for the internet. The, the goal is to build the physique. I say this in every video. The goal is to be swole and strong, not one or the other. See, guys be putting too much emphasis on trying to be unique and creative, <laughs> making up all these different techniques and doing all these corny ass workouts. Then when they get on stage, they get smoked. Cause y'all ain't putting in no real work. You feel me? Then everybody wanna rip it. I wanna look like such and such. I wanna look like such and such. But you don't wanna train like such and such. You ain't see such and such trying to recreate the wheel. Such and such stuck to the faces. Get into the money. <laughs> Yo. Let me do it. <laughs> 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 C 
say I love this bodybuilding shit, cause you can cover up. Like I was showing my physique at first, but I, I kind of get a kick out of it. Stand covered up. Then when it comes time to reveal this physique, I'm gonna look like a masterpiece. And then all the folks who were saying bodybuilders don't train like that, you shouldn't do this, you shouldn't do that. They gonna be like this. I'm gonna walk up to them with my hand like this. They gonna be like this. Kick your jaw off the ground, boy. Baby. Six weeks we gonna eat. Yeah. I'm gonna, show, I'm gonna show the boys how to get the job done. We ain't doing 20 local shows in one year. We do a local show qualify and go to the next level. We ain't ducking no rent. Fuck you me. Yeah. Man, my bad, man. I'm having fun with this shit. Y'all do be trying to walk around looking all tough and shit, miserable as a motherfucker. I'm having fun with this shit, man. That's why, that's why they be mad. They like, how he having so much fun with this shit? And I gotta put my tampon in if I go to the gym. Pussy boys. <laughs> yeah, oh, she's breaking. I don't even count sets, bro. I don't count reps. I gotta get that money. I go off how I feel. See, a lot of dudes get so caught up in numbers, the rep schemes and, 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 and sets. Be so afraid of talking about overtraining. Listen, bro. I've been training seven days a week for the most part since 2013. And dudes be talking about overtraining and this, this, and that. Bruh, you go to work every day, don't you? You walk every day, don't you? You run your mouth on that phone every day, don't you? All this shit the same to me, man. Some of y'all dudes be trying to be too scientific with this shit. If you ain't tired, keep eating. Hungry, eat. Now, if you tired and your recovery process is slow, then you make adjustments according to your recovery process. But don't let the next man tell you that you tired or that you feel too tired. Never let nobody put a, a ceiling over you, bro. They say the, they say what they say, reach for the stars or whatever the fuck they be saying. Be the star. Don't let no star, don't let no person be the star that you're reaching for. You want to surpass all these fools, man. You hear me? What the fuck do you mean? Hey, hey, hey. Thong's on right here. And you turn the fuck up in this bitch. Playtime over, it's the big league. If cats ain't never been to the big leagues, they can't tell you how to get to the big leagues. You heard? All these local jokers be trying to give advice. You don't know what it takes to get to the next level. Shut up. <laughs> Thank you. 
stupid pump, man. Stupid pump. It, it's different, though. See, a lot of guys there give props for secretly talk shit. I know you be jake because when I was off my off my square, you was you was coming up to me with the same encouraging words, telling me to get back in my shit. But a lot of guys there come up talk to me then. You overhear them, they think you got the headphones on, they talk the shit. Well, it's and some some shit because they don't understand what they're talking about. But see, they've never been to where I'm trying to go, so I don't even. Or well, even just your size, they see somebody your size, they don't understand the difference between you and other dudes I've seen and dudes that are all so big. They don't, 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 have, they don't have my mentality though. No. Like if you look around now, these dudes training with their girlfriends, they're like competitors. They're trying to look cute. I come here and get the money. There's levels to this. All right, for sure. There's levels to this. For sure. On your way up, and people who enjoy training. Yeah. That's two different things. That's two different levels of seriousness. You can't fuck off. Yeah. Like you said, seven days, seven days. Yeah. You have to do that. Gotta eat. That's why you take, you don't see Mr. Meal. What's that time you Mr. Meal? Yeah. Since you started, since you got back. Last time with Mr. Meal? Uh, after my first show, when I went in my van, I was supposed to do North America. Uh, I couldn't stop eating though, bro. <laughs> you know, that was my first show back in two years. And I couldn't stop. But I wasn't really eating. Well, I was eating a lot of donuts. It got so bad, I went and got seven donuts. And before I got off the street with the donut shop, them seven donuts was gone. I was turning around wanting to get six more. It got bad, but. Did you pregnant the next day? Oh, yeah, I yeah, I turned every day. Okay, that's the point. That's the point. Because you're gonna suck that stuff up, your metabolism is gonna be right back on point. Some days I'm gonna train twice. Because you got guilt. You got guilt. <laughs> you gotta put some good calls to you. That's that's what it is. If you if you you, you can only be all half on bullshit. Yeah. You know you weren't supposed to do it, so you got fucking back. You see, I, I appreciate this guy right here because when I first moved back to St. Louis and I was off my square, I was bullshitting on everything. And when he came up and said, "Man," in so many words. You train it like a bitch. <laughs> so every time I see him, I have to go harder because I see him. He think I don't see him, but I see him. <laughs> he turned me up. I appreciate it. I mean, it's the reality, man. You were given a gift from God. People, you don't have to believe in God. God believes in you. And when the dude's got talent like this, that shit ain't for no reason. You watch his videos. That shit don't, that weight doesn't just go up and down. You, if you dial back on him, go back to some of his first stuff. You see him getting bigger and bigger. That's not just his genetic gifts and his work ethic. Like what I, you said one when you said something about like your tools or something. Like you're doing some little side movements. Yeah. Dude's got a bunch of little tricks. And as his career moves on, you're gonna see him need to pull more and more of those out. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that's just life, man. And that's the grind. You got you got little kids. You got a, that's the biggest. You see, they 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 in the gym with me. So people use having kids as an excuse to not go hard. I tell you firsthand, my kids right, my kids right there. <laughs> you know, I bring my kids to the gym. No excuse. I use my kids as an excuse to go harder, to not, not to not go hard, not to be late. It's a difference. And really, as far as parenting goes. And like raising kids, his daughters are some little confident. They walk right through this gym like they own it. <laughs> Talk to people like it's nothing. Excuse me, can you move out of the way? They're only this, like this tall, you know? And that's what it's about, man. It's about, you know what I mean? You're, you're being the best you could be. You're being the best those kids. Yeah. Like, in my lecture, I told you, you got kids, man. You know it's not just crazy. a gift. My youngest said she want to be a bodybuilder. She eats chicken and rice. And oh. She just had chicken and rice before we came. You know, the typical kid want to eat snacks after school. I had her chicken, chicken thighs and rice. And it's, it's you're teaching her a system. You're showing that you can be successful, and you're showing that it's easy. Yeah. Dad pushes all this weight and likes it. Yeah. Your kids are never gonna think life is hard. They're gonna be like, "What college? Okay, oh, where's that?" Exactly. Hard is exciting. Yeah. If it's easy, what are you doing? Hard builds character. When you think you ain't got enough and you can pull out extra whatever, whether it's work, tired, you working an extra hour, or you in the gym. Hard work builds character, man. Like you say, easy shit is boring. That's why I train the way I train, because it builds character, it's fun for me. Yeah, well, and you have to grind. Yeah. You're not gonna get anywhere by not grinding. You're not gonna find anybody, like 95% of the people that ever got anywhere, 
you don't hear about when they sucked at it, when they were weak, when nobody liked them, nobody believed in them. You don't see that shit. You just see, oh, look how big his arms are. Look at them belts. I guarantee you this man, I'll throw you a little in the bustle of it, these sad days. He had days where he doubts himself, but he lifts himself up because he believes in himself, because he's pushed himself, because he proved to himself that he can. He dials back and he's like, wait a minute, I want some shit. Wait a minute, I, wa I, I swatted three, and then I swatted four, and I swatted, why am I tripping? Why am I holding back? Why am I lying to myself? Yeah. And he picks himself up, and he gets in that fucking gym, and he does his work. And that's why he is where he's at. You know, the takeover, boy 2.0. 2.0. It's gonna be 3.0 come December 9th. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. I appreciate you, bro. People like that, you gotta appreciate, bro. Cause like I say, when I was at my low point, when I was, you know, not feeling bodybuilding and stuff no more, he was on me. The same way he talked to me now, he was on me then. And he helped me get back in the game, I ain't gonna lie. So people like him, you gotta appreciate. He helped me get back in the game mentally. This is my third movement. I gotta hurry up. Control. Hey yo, I'm gonna actually show y'all some tricep movement today, man. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna be my final chest uh, exercise. And I'm gonna show y'all two tricep movements and we're gonna get up out of here. This is uh, 638. I gotta go make dinner for my kids and we gotta do homework and read tonight, so I gotta get up out of here. Support your homies, man. If you call dudes your friend, you gotta really support them and push their shit like your Joe Street. You see, I got my, I, I got my homie Eminem's friend stick on my water bottle, bro. Everywhere I go, I'm putting on. If a cat call himself your friend, and he ain't supporting and rocking your brand, how you rock your own shit, or how he will rock his own shit, he ain't really your friend. So pay attention to who supports you, bro. Because a lot of these dudes be fake. They just be opportunists, want to be around when you winning, but don't want to help you. Like uh, Drake said, you want to be shooting in the gym. Don't eat compared to me, you a turtle. Hey. 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 I keep it simple and basic, stick to the basic principle. This that joint right here. This help is gonna help you build that tricep. See, I don't wanna use all the fancy terms because I know a lot of people who beginners don't be knowing the muscles and all that. And when people get to talking all scientifically, it can discourage people because me personally, when I watch uh, YouTube videos and people be trying to talk all scientifically and shit, I turn that shit off. Talk to me like you, like I'm your homeboy in the gym. We finna build them back arms. It's also gonna build up their bench break. When you're doing this, you want to actually do something. Don't be like this, bro. This is not no fucking part of the money. That's bullshit. 
And when you see dudes doing all that shit, that's ego lifting, bro. Put that hoe in front of you. Boom. Boom. Like this. Get the full money from the movement. Don't fuck up the form trying to live heavy. Lighten the load and get quality reps, man. See that OG who taught me how to live, that's what he used to call it. Back on. For the long time, I thought they were called back on. Look at them back on. Get me coming early, baby. Well, that's all she wrote for this video, man. It's time to go home and eat. Look at that. Like I say, every every workout I try to burn 500 calories. So, mission accomplished. You want to win a day every day. Every day you win gonna set you closer and closer to your overall spot. At the end of the day, you want to be the last man standing. So when it comes show day, you want to be the last man standing. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Do your boy a solid. Go to uh, thespurrednutrition.com for all your supplement needs. Type in TakeOver20, sell you a couple bucks. You gonna help your boy out. You know, I get a little commission, you hear me? With my prep, with my kids, and all that type of thing, you know what I mean? Maybe I can give me a good camera one day, you know what I mean? But until next time, we checking out. Please, appreciate the chat.